go welcome to the model bench um, this is my new channel I'm going to be building the trumpeter 1 200 scale Titanic so this is the box it comes in as you can see it's massive um, there's the dimensions over 1200 parts including photo etch and LEDs um, it's also been a Titanic the group Titanic hope honor and glory they have helped with the design of the kit and just, you know, made kind of corrections to make it more accurate. So that is the size of the box. So let's open it and see what we get inside. So there's the way the box has come. Trumpeter did a great job um, on packing the, the ship. All the different parts are in their individual boxes, so you know nothing gets damaged, gets loose. That's the hull, as you can see, quite big. Um, there's still a little, few little things that have to be changed on the hull. They didn't get everything quite right, so a few doors have to be removed, a few little bits added. But that's that's all part of the modelling. So I will open a few boxes and just show you what way it comes. Okay, on to the next box. So here we have the rudder. Um, we've got the props. I'm going to be changing them out. I've got some really nice brass ones. Again, I'll show you them later. The sea well deck bulkhead, I mean. Again, I'm going to have to change that. That's not 100% accurate. Uh, with most model kits there's always some kind of um you know customization done to it as the decals of all the flags um, and that's what i really like about modeling is just to take you know a kit like this and then you know see how you can make it more accurate there's the stand which i don't think i'll be using it's fairly chunky um, and yeah it's to um you know upgrade and improve any parts that I can and that that's kind of going to be my approach to this kit I'm not going to go you know you could go down a rabbit hole of kind of improving the kit um, and probably never finish it but um, so I'm kind of going to meet somewhere in the middle and I'm going to improve what I can to my level of skill and um, yeah leave everything else alone you know and here is the next box and it's a big one these are a lot of the decks so again you've got you know the boat deck um a b c deck so you can see they will all eventually end up sitting on top of each other with all the different you know rooms and what have you Oh, even as you can see the decks are massive now the last box is the LED kit that comes with the kit um, I'm not sure I'm going to use this as you can see you know it's very yellow I want my lights to be a little bit more cooler and um, they also have very big LEDs lighting up the funnels and in reality the funnels weren't um, lit up which is you know you would think they would be but no um, but it comes with a nice little LED strip and then obviously all your LEDs and your little connectors but that's the kind of size of the bulb and they're just too big they're out of scale they're nuts and um, more connectors more wires and resistors I will use them I think I'm going to do my own lighting kit and um, hopefully fingers crossed <laughs> um, but yeah so that's what comes with the trumpeter so these are the instructions that come with the kit um, as you can see you've got a your lighting instructions you've got your main instructions you've got your color paint guide again just be careful of that some of that isn't completely um, accurate so just be careful maybe do your research I'll talk about that in a minute and um, that's the Pontos set that they offer and again you can see it's a lot of what the KA kit has um, so that again <coughs> is available um, and then just quickly these are the instructions you've got 52 pages of instructions goes on a little bit about the history of the Titanic and um, showing you all your parts and then it's just your usual instructions showing you um, 
you know how everything goes together fairly detailed as you can imagine but I'm really just going to treat this kit as every every single little bit it's like a mini kit and just really spend the time making this section and making it as realistic and as you know as great as I can and then move on to the next one and I think if you approach the kit that way in just little bite sized pieces um, I just think you know you won't get overwhelmed there's their uh, funnels I'm going to show you I got some 3d funnels I'll show you them now later um, yeah you know so many pieces but it's great that's the hobby it's just you know make it as best as you can and as detailed as possible you know and the journey that's the pleasure as you can see these are like you know the railings to go around there the photo etch parts so again that's going to be interesting and that's the kit all done finished so i just wanted to cover again a little bit of what i plan to do with this kit um as i said earlier you can build a kit straight out of the box and it would be an amazing model but i think if you can and if your skill level is up to it just to go a little bit extra and you can really make it a fantastic model so little things like obviously all the portholes have to be drilled out and um, so then once the lights are inside you'll get that lovely illumination um, I've already marked some doors like that door shouldn't be there that door shouldn't be there so again it's just a case of sanding them off um, some of the areas like this that cleat um, is it a cleat no it's a oh, it's kind of a drainage hole so that one obviously needs to be moved to there um, these coal doors are the wrong side so again I've got I've got photo etch for them so I'm going to sand them off stick on the photo etch there's a kind of an outlet that needs to be added here um, these portholes are wrong and it's just to do with the molding process so they need to be filled and then drilled straight in and then on the back of the stern they were actually missing some portholes so again I'll just drill them so these are really easy little fixes these holes here need to be opened up um, so they're really easy fixes and I think they will just enhance the model and um, so I'm happy to do stuff like that you know um, but I wouldn't be I know some people are just far more skilled and they're actually remolding or redoing the whole hole and I'm just I'm just not there yet <laughs> so that is the kit i'm just going to show you some upgrade parts that i got um, and you can see then just kind of the detail on them so the kit comes with um decking already molded into all the decks um, and it's just very uniformed and you know it's fine if you can paint that and it would look brilliant do a little bit of kind of you know color variation on it and it would look fantastic but there's a lot of um sets out there that you know like there's two upgrade sets you can get the ka set and the pontos set and both of them come with their own decks and then this is the one i chose to go with because i just think it's the nicest it's scale decks so that's available on scaledecks.com and it's basically three sheets of decking and they're laser laser created you just pop them out and stick them onto the decking and i just think it's going to make a huge difference just in accuracy um yeah it just looks fantastic so that's decking i've decided to go with just like i say there's lots of different uh lots of different options out there and this set comes with um two variations so basically and i'll turn it around if you're building the kit straight out of the box you would use this deck because it's obviously got the holes ready to go onto the molded parts but i'm going to be removing those molded parts and using more detail parts so I would use this decking and then I can literally stick them on top and you just get a better finished same here you can see that's straight out of the box it's already cut ready to go drop over the molded parts I'll be removing those molded parts and then using this deck and then my new pieces my new detail pieces will sit on top so that's great you have both choice so you can see there box fit high detail fit so uh, yeah very happy with these check them out at scaledex.com i'll leave a link in the description so for the upgrade set i went with the ka set um 
KA and the Pontos set both have their you know advantages and disadvantages. This one I just felt was the better choice for me. So this is the one I went for. So as you can see, it comes really nicely packaged. Um, <clears throat> so again, you're getting so many photo etch. Now some of these might cross over with the actual trumpeter kit, but um, I can decide when I'm actually building what I'll use and what I won't use. But you can see there, you've just got so many ladders, doors, <laughs> windows, little vents. These are for the lifeboats, just to put around. They're like little ropes. Um, God, there's so many. They're you know, all handrails. And photo etch is tricky. I've no, I've, I haven't used a lot of photo etch, but um, I suppose it's a good time to learn. But it's a beautiful little, um, beautiful little upgrade kit. There we see the, the little signs on the back and some of the detail for the wheelhouse and um, it even comes with a little clear sheet of uh, stained glass windows to put into some of the windows and so as you can see there's a lot there so many railings um, and it's really really nicely packaged and um, again you, it comes with its own set of props it comes with a better uh hold on wait till i just get this open so as you can see it comes, uh, these are all 3D printed, beautifully printed, you just have to be removed. But it comes with its own uh, props, but again as I said, I'll show you them shortly. I've, I've got brass ones, it comes with really nice uh, cranes. And they're just a little bit nicer detailed than the trumpeter parts. There's the chain, so as you can see it's much nicer than uh, just a piece of gold chain. So that's that set. Uh, and in this one, we've got a lot of kind of bollards and um, cap stands and stuff like that. It's just so much stuff, more kind of vents. And again, <clears throat> these parts here would be getting in um, some photo etch grills. So that's fabulous. And then we have Titanic light bulbs. There's the lifeboats. And you can imagine, you know, once you paint that up and detail it, it will look fantastic. And the only thing I've noticed on these is um, it's kind of missing, just with the molding process, it's missing the kind of profile that goes around the ship. But again, that's, uh, sorry, lifeboat. That's easy enough fixed. There's one I've, there's one I made earlier. So you can see we're just adding a little bit of uh, styrene. I've just added the proper profile to the lifeboat and it just finishes it off. Once that's all painted up, that should look fantastic. Um, then we've got some um, patches and then so many brass pieces. Oh my God, look at this. We've got a brass mast. <coughs> Again, you've got more cap stands. I don't know what half of it is, but sure, I'll figure it out. Again, just more um, masks. Fantastic. So it's a really good kit just to kind of elevate the model. These are some of the little collapsible boats. Um, to really just bring your model to the next level. I think it's well worth getting. Uh, but do your research, you know, between that and the Pontos one. Um, Here's another little piece I got. This is from Scale Warship. And these are the little portholes because um, within some of Titanic's portholes, they actually had windows that would um, rotate out. And they're a very, um, very recognizable design. So you can see there, they're just little brass or, you know, inserts. So once they're popped in, you've also got, if you want to use them, the lenses to go into um, portholes. I'm not sure if I'll use them. Yeah, if you can, if you go to scale warship, um, you can pick them up. Really nice. Okay, so these are some of the upgrade parts I got from the Facebook group, uh, the China 3D. Um, I'll put a link in the description. And they offer some fantastic 3D printed pieces. 
that are just more, you know, just better detailed and better quality. Um, and again, I think you can just cherry pick what pieces you want to go for. You know, you could literally replace nearly every part at this stage, but I'm just going to kind of cherry pick what parts that I feel will uh, enhance my model. So these are the brass uh, props and the brass drops. So you can see the little anchors and these are made of brass. They obviously have to be cleaned up and painted, but beautiful quality and just the detail is amazing. Really nice. And then I got these and these are just fantastic. I think with Titanic, you know, when you think about Titanic, you think about, you know, the iconic shape and I think the funnels play a big part in that. So that's why I wanted to go a little bit extra with, with the funnels. So you can just see these have all been 3D printed. So they just need to be cleaned up, separated from, uh, you know, the printing process. Um, and obviously, you know, make sure with any 3D piece, you always obviously have to uh, clean it before you, um, prime and paint but you can just see there the actual the detail is just amazing the little whistles it's just fabulous so they're going to really enhance the model i feel you know and then i also just got a little hatch that's on the forward um folksal if i'm using any terms that are wrong please don't correct me i'm only learning but again you can see compared to the uh, piece that comes with uh, the trumpeter kit. I mean, the trumpeter kit is pretty good, but this is just an extra level of detail and I just think it will really enhance the model. So that's what I would suggest, you know, just cherry pick what kind of parts you feel, you know, your skill level um, allows you to do, you know. Um, obviously, as I say, some people are replacing a lot of parts in the kits. If you feel you're not up to that, I think it's nice just to get these kind of parts that you know easy enough to paint easy enough to clean up and they're gonna really enhance your model but again I'll put all the uh, links into the description so just one more thing before I go um, before you build a kit like this and um, that's so detailed I would um, do a lot of research do as much research as you can just so you get familiar with the different parts of Titanic so that way when you do you know read about different tips and you know areas of the ship you're familiar with what you know people are talking about and just even the coloring and you know how you're going to approach the model and what you're going to do so see, these are a few books that i've picked up uh, this is icon of an age titanic and again it's beautifully illustrated lots about the building of titanic the different areas on the ship um, some fantastic documents you know letters there's one of the funnels um, it's really really nice really nice book basically about the whole design the making of and the sinking of Titanic so it's just a fantastic book a lot of times you know when you start to get a lot of books you'll see the same photographs over and over that's the size of the propeller holy moly but you'll start to see um, yeah, the same photographs over and over because there are only so many photographs out there. But again, you'll get really familiar with Titanic and its layout. So that's a great, that's a really nice little book. And then we've got Titanic in photographs. And again, this is gathered basically every photograph nearly available of Titanic. So it's a really good reference book. And it goes through the whole creation of Titanic, the launch and the aftermath of the sinking. But really good, you know, for kind of picking out details on the ship. And, you know, if you're wondering what something looked like or how much detail you need to do. That's really nice. Um, and again, you'll see the same photographs over and over. That's usually a photograph attributed to Titanic's Grand Staircase, but it's actually the staircase for the Olympic. Um, but they were more or less exactly the same, so you can see just the quality and the detail was beautiful. Captain Smith there. <clears throat> so 
So that's a really nice book. Again, just keep rereading and rereading and you know studying the photographs just so you identify and get familiar with every part of the ship. Um, it just makes building the models so much easier. I love that photograph, I think that's fabulous. Um, yes, yeah, so that's a really good book. Here's Captain Smith again. Um, and finally, this is a really nice little book. This is Father Brown's Titanic album. So basically Father Brown was a Jesuit priest who got on, I think in Southampton or Cherbourg, and he went as far as Cove, which is or Queenstown, which is now Cove. And he took some very famous photographs of Titanic. Some, some of his photographs are literally the only photographs we have of certain areas. So he documented his whole trip, you know. Um, actually got on in London, I think. Yeah, Waterloo Station in London. But he wanted to go on to New York, but his superior superiors told him, no, get off, get off that ship. <laughs> and lucky he did, because obviously we have some of the only photographs of certain areas. So again, all these photographs we've seen in the other books, and these are all Father Brown's photographs. But this is a lovely little book because at the start of the book, it actually reproduces his album. He cre After the tragedy, he created an album. So there are all his handwritten notes about the whole journey. So they, they recreate every page and you can see all his little, you know, observations and notes. And uh, I think the tragedy really struck him, you know. Um, just some fairly poignant notes in the book. So that's beautiful to have the actual book, you know, completely uh, reproduced. And then it, it, the actual main book goes into the photographs and then a little bit about, you know, Father Brown. But it's a great little book. It's fascinating because it really, it really covers the whole of um, Father Brown's time on the ship, his photographs and the aftermath. So. That's well, well, um, it's well worth picking up, Father Brown's Titanic album. Okay, so that's all for in this video. Uh, hopefully in the next video I'll actually get to start making the Titanic. So if you're interested in following this journey, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you.